Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time for a startup in the collection um, which is the startup of my shelfish post-op fixtures which is this shelf all the four post-op fixtures can turn on at the same time so that's what we are going to do but I'm first going to uh, tell a bit about all the fixtures on the shelf here so this is a Philips CPS uh, 200 with 18 watt low pressure sodium you have these fixtures in many many different uh, bulb types, lamp types, um, but this is my favorite one I think with low pressure, low pressure sodium. The fixture is in a very good condition, only the uh, closing system of this fixture is a bit messed up, but that's the case with almost every CPS fixture, so that's not too strange. Outside of that, yeah, I'm happy to have it in the collection. I would have probably thrown it away if it was with PLL, since the fixture itself isn't too interesting. But with low pressure sodium, it's pretty nice to have. This is an Industria 86516, if I'm correct. Something around that number. And um, this is a poster fixture that was very common in the north of the Netherlands, but it became pretty rare. Um, it's with circle line fluorescent 40 watts, and yeah. Um, it has a very interesting design, happy to have it in the collection, and yeah, it's just an interesting fixture with a unique opening system. So, here we have two Philips HPP tents, both uh, fixtures were very common in the city where I live. But um, most, all of these got replaced, because these fixtures are way worse in quality than those fixtures, more on that later. But yeah, I prefer this version to this version since I, the yellow with the mercury vapor looks pretty interesting. It gives a nice green color. It's my favorite uh, fixture of all time. So that's also why it's on the shelf. I actually have two of them. One is outside and one is here. Yeah, it's said that these are uh, that these are all replaced. The last one has been replaced in March this year. So this uh, fixture is also a Philips HPP, which is on a sticker here. Um, the <laughs> funny part is that these fixtures are, this one is a bit older, but it doesn't differ too much from each other. These are still very common in the city where I live, not outside of the city, then they become rare. But with circle and fluorescent, this one is very common in the city where I live. Also, Circle line fluorescent 40 watts, both of these are preheat. And yeah, I think it's time to let them all start up. So this is what it uh, looks like when it's turned on. Um, yeah, all old fixtures. I actually want to put um, a warm white circle and fluorescent in it someday since I think that looks better. Might also make this fixture look a bit better. But overall I'm pretty happy with um, how it is right now. And let me know what you think about this. And thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you in the next video.